All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is Pixie Tron. Today is episode 18, where I wrap up all of the standing animation, or rather non-animation, the standing idol. This is the Desert Ranger character. And he's got a slightly different look because I've done this twice now, accidentally overwrote Previously done work, had to remake it, but we're finally done. All 12 of these, or 14, or however many characters there are, uh, I think there's actually 12 unique characters, uh, 16 total items, uh, one minus that one. Well, let's see, there's uh, da, 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 15, and then that one's not really that unique, 14. But there really are 15 different characters here uh, that we've created all of them now in the Voxel world, and I'm going to show them off to you today, and we'll discuss briefly some of the changes I had to make to the Pixitron engine that I forgot to put in last time, because I was still wrapping this up. What Adam's got for us today is the Pixie game, and I just want to show you the lines that you need in the engine.js file, I think. Yes, to change the scale mode from linear, which is what you're seeing by default in Pixie, uh, to the nearest. So you say pixie.settings in the init renderer clause of the engine, pixie.settings.scale mode equals pixie.scale modes.nearest. Pretty neat, huh? Pixie.settings.resolution equals window.device pixel ratio. I don't know if this matters yet, but it's in there. So the Desert Ranger, a slightly different look. I over, overwrote him when creating the Irradiated, or the Ghoul character. Uh, but uh, I digress. Uh, we have solved this problem. So if you remember last time I made one female, it was the female Raider character. I accidentally overwrote her as well, and so I had to recreate her, and I did so. And this time, she's a little bit more uh, simple. She looks better when she's closer up and she's just not as, uh, as, as, as complicated as before. Just everything makes more sense at this level. There she is. And if I render her in full, you can see her there. I'll make it a little bit bigger and do that thing to her. And you can see her slowly fade in with her eye patch. Now, uh, she's pretty much the same. I based her off the same model, which would be the, uh, death general, model uh i'm gonna bring that in just to remind you so she was based loosely off of this guy and the thing about these characters is that they're going to be pretty small but i'll show them off at a higher resolution so that you can see them so who are the new characters well maybe i'll just go through them all really quickly but uh, uh i'll do the new ones first so that uh, well we'll start with this one so there was this one uh, this is Wastelander 3 at a high resolution. Doesn't look so great. There was a lot of details on this one, and it actually took the longest. But at the small size, it still conveys the original character, which I'll bring up as well. Let me see if I can get that. Over here, we've got the characters. And uh, this particular character was this character, which is sort of a Japanese or something style, maybe Korean, Chinese, I don't know has nothing to do with our game, but uh, it was just the least elfish-looking character we could find at Mixamo, which is giving away game art for the next month or two. If you need one of, like, only, like, 20 characters, 22 characters and, like, something like 60 animations for those characters, who gives rats behind? But this is... It's fine. It makes some sense, although she does look like she's right out of Assassin's Creed, like three or something. This character is a uh, another wastelander. All right, and uh, I'm gonna bring her in to show her off. So this character again, very long, took a long time, and due to the nature of the resolution of the voxel art, it's it's almost impossible to really do a lot of the female curvature. So this is the best I could do. Uh, I made it so that there was a slight shadow on her arm that made it look like there was something there, but there really isn't anything there. But again, these characters are not going to be that big. Uh, our goal is to make pixel art with them, and I'll just switch back to standard mode, ISO, 
so you can get an idea of what she's going to look like in game. Uh, it is what it is. I did the best I could. I had to make up a lot of the backs of these characters because I don't really know what they look like from behind. But that's pretty effective. The shadow's pretty good. I mean, everything about it is okay. It's just, it looks like an elf in the, anyway, you know, or something like that, a rogue. But what does a wastelander look like? I don't know. Certainly not a raider. Um, in most movies, they were just filthy people. Like, uh, uh what was her name? Uh, she was in 16 Candles. Uh, anyway, there was that one movie she was in where she was a waster, and all they did was just get her really dirty. In fact, they even joked about it, and they made her clean up in the movie. All right, we did these ladies. Uh, now we're going to move on to the other characters, which are mutants. So here we have the super mutant. I mean, I don't know. Let's bring up his original photograph, and we'll do a comparison of of the two characters. The, the color is not perfect, but I think you know what I'm looking at. Now, I just noticed that these are not fully pant legs, that there's actually a torn thing. This character relied a lot on some bizarre clothing things. I guess the story is that this mutant, uh, and I, I think I have seen this mutant in a game, but uh, this mutant apparently was wearing clothing before he mutated. But I have a real problem with this character, but, uh, you know, uh, this is fine. It's cute. He's got big shoes. It's the same sort of a, a character and at the small size he looks he's going to be bigger than the humans i mean he looks like a behemoth you wouldn't want to run into him even if he does look like a crazy lunatic he has the biggest mouth of all the characters so far so uh yeah uh there's that guy now what else we got we have another mutant so that was the super mutant this is the mutant and the mutant, uh, if you recall, and uh, maybe you don't, I don't know, but uh, if you go back a couple of videos, you'll see me selecting and manipulating some of that artwork. But let me uh, bring that character in, and, and you can see what he, he's supposed to look like that. But that's just well and dandy. I think uh, he did a pre we did a pretty good job considering the type of artwork going for. Um... Yeah, at some level, I wasn't even using the full resolution graphic to make them, which was a little bit more helpful. I noticed I didn't put in these dreadlocks, but uh, whatevs. So, uh, yeah, that's what he looks like. And if I go into free mode, you can see him head on. Looks smashing. If you zoom in, still looks smashing. Has a, kind of a tooth in his mouth. So there he is, Mr. Big Bad Mutant. Finally, there's the irradiated... Well, there's two more characters, actually. There's the, uh, the, the, the... Well, we'll do the irradiated now. This is what that character looks like. And if I bring him in, uh, he looks like that. So not bad, not too shabby. Uh, not perfect. His hair's a little bright, but why not? It's a game. It's supposed to be fun. And you've got this... Uh, Backpack unit here, backpack unit there. So backpack there. And then you've got this strap. I did not include the, the rifle, but you've got this strap. And then you've got the strap there and the wife beater. And, uh, you know, you can see his one leg is shorter than the other uh, as far as the pant legs. And he's got green sneakers on. So not too bad. Uh, some cool detail work. Finally, the filth. No, no, I don't mean the fact that you haven't bathed in several days, or at least that I haven't, but the filth character. Now, this character, I think, is from, like, I don't know. It could be from anything, but it was given away free, royalty-free. And you see he has these long fingers. I think this is, like, Wolfenstein or maybe a Half-Life remake, or I don't even know, but... Uh, uh, I am aware that this character has no eyes. They've been covered over. I don't know why you would do such a thing. But let's take a look at his voxel version. So he's looking like that. 
which is not an exact one-to-one replica of the original by far, but he's got a pretty cool look to him. He's got his little spaghetti fingers and he's got his, uh, blinder piece on. He's got his cool, see, he has these high cheekbones. And so does this model have the high cheekbones and the big belt buckle. It does not have this, uh, thingy, but whatever. I mean, got the big boots says the same thing, doesn't it? If I turn him around, I'm not entirely happy with this shield looking thing, which is supposed to be that wrap, but from the front, it looks pretty good. So let's put these guys up next to each other and compare the detail on that that bottom part there, you can see uh, you've got that through the legs. So uh, there he is, uh, our filth character. And he's the biggest character. He's the tallest character. Uh, he does not have the biggest chest, but he has huge hands and arms. And uh, this character and the super mutant character, uh, well, maybe not the super, well, certainly not the reading. Reading is practically a human being, but the super mutant character might uh might wield a weapon but this guy mr filth does not wield a weapon i know there's actually some green strands in his arm here it'd be nice to maybe put those in but i think it's fine the way it is and i'm happy to move on because while i enjoy making art this took days i can't wait until later on when i've got to animate them i'm sure that's going to be a hoot and a holler but uh yep there he is, Mr. Filth. He's a little bit deep, but that's okay. Look at those hands. Grabbing at you. Trying to get you. What horrific, what a horrific creature this is. I mean, look at him. Iso mode. Not bad. He's going to look like this. He does look much bigger than the other characters. Let's just quickly go through the iso mode of all the characters. So we've got the Filth, and we'll see him again. All right, here we have Mr. Alpha Man. And here we've got the Desert Ranger, the Death General. All right, not bad, not bad. We've got the Filth. We'll show him off one more time. Oh, my goodness, Mr. Filthy. Whew. The Irradiated. Oh, our ghoulish friend. I think the hair is a little too much. Might take that off of there. I don't know. What variants? Maybe his hair varies. Uh, Mandroid. I am the Mandroid. I live in the cyberspace. We've got the mutant. Yeah, with his spike. So this guy, he could have, he can't really handle anything. He only has three friggin' fingers on one hand. I mean, I guess he could shoot a gun, but I think there's spikes in the actual drawing. So this guy's just going to beat you and stab you. He's not going to be able to shoot at you. Uh, then we've got this lady. She's uh, a raider. All right. She's got her eye patch thing going there. And uh, quite thin. Quite thin. We also have the raider number two. And as you may know, raider number two is wearing an elephant mask. Just kidding. So, yeah, he looks way better at smaller, but uh, that's the whole point, right? Smaller hair is another ranger. Ranger man. And our mutant friend. My goodness, what a mutant he makes. The Probably the most annoying thing about this character was this purple thing. I wanted it to be white. It actually looked better white, but it wasn't white in the drawing, so I fiddled with it until it worked. I do have a couple of surprises here. We have a tree. I think you might have seen that one before, but we've also got this tree, which is the same damn tree. And then we've got this tree. And this is probably the kind of resolution we're going to go for for the actual trees because, let's face it, trees are bigger than people, even if they are mutants. Here's the Unibot, looking cute as ever. Cute and deadly, of course. We've got the Wastelander number one, female... She's partially a cyborg, has a cyborg arm. And we've got this Wastelander, and finally this Wastelander. So that was it. Ran the gamut. Hey, thanks for watching Pixietron. If you want to support the project, pop on over and become a Patreon. Maybe you'll be the first. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, also, you can uh, leave us a message on the Twitter, the Skype, the Discord. Uh, in fact, if you go to our Twitter page, you can find all of our links 
to our Twitter, our Reddit. Uh, we just started some new communities on the Reddit, so bop on over there and subscribe. Make Freely and Game Dev Gurus a thing, as well as, of course, Retro Friends itself. Be a friend of the Retroness. Post some retro game screens. Show us what you're doing. Show us what you've done. Show us a playthrough. Show us your favorite character from your favorite RPG of yesteryear. All there on the R Retro Friends. Leave a comment, subscribe, do something. Tell your friends about us. Tell your friends about us. Tell your, your mother about us. Call your doctor. Tell him about us. Hey, could be a woman. Tell her about this.